Hi, welcome to the magic of math. Today, my video lesson is on graphing a system of linear equations. Our objectives today are that you will solve a system of linear equations by graphing and that you will learn how to check your solutions. Here's the question I'd like you thinking about today as I proceed through the lesson. How can you use what you know about graphing a line to solve a system of linear equations? Let's review some vocabulary. So a system of linear equations is a set of two or more linear equations in the same variables. In this video, we're only going to use a system as two equations. So here's an example of a system. y equals negative 3x subtract 8 is one linear equation. And then y equals 1 half x subtract 1 is a second equation. So together, these two form a set that form a system of linear equations. Our second vocabulary word, a solution of a system of linear equations in two variables is an ordered pair that is a solution of each equation in the system. The solution of a linear equation is a point or ordered pair of an intersection of the graphs of the equation. So a lot said here. So here's our coordinate plane. We're going to show you the graph of the first equation that's in blue, y equals negative 3x subtract 8, and then in orange, the second, y equals 1 half subtract 1. So I've just graphed these two lines, and the point where they intersect is our solution. So negative 2, negative 2 is our ordered pair, and that is the solution of our system of linear equations, and this point is the only point where they will intersect and it is also the only ordered pair that is a solution to each of these linear equations in the system. Now it's your turn. I would like you to pause the video here and determine what the solution is of this graph system of linear equations. So there are two linear equations graphed on this coordinate plane. Pause, determine the solution, and come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So our solution is where they intersect, which is right here. So when you start at the origin and you go to the left and then you go up, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's negative 4, 1, 2, 3. So the point of intersection is the ordered pair negative 4, 3. And that is the solution to our system of linear equations. Again, it is the only point on both lines that is a solution to the linear equation as well as the system. Here are the steps for solving a system by graphing. Step one, you're gonna graph each equation in the same coordinate plane. Step two, you're gonna identify the ordered pair where the two lines intersect. And step three, you're gonna check the ordered pair from step two by substituting the x and y values, this ordered pair, into each equation to verify it is a solution to both equations. So three simple steps. I'm gonna model those steps for you here, and we're gonna solve this given system by graphing. So step one, we're gonna graph each equation in the same coordinate plane. So I'm gonna start by graphing our blue equation here. Our y-intercept is negative eight, so I go and I plot a point at negative eight. My slope is negative three, so I'm going to rise 1, 2, 3, and run negative 1. So run 1. So my slope and connect the points is negative. So I have to be falling left to right. So again, 1, 2, 3, and one direction has to be negative. So if I go up, I have to go left. Or I can go down, which is negative, and right positive. So that's our blue line. Now let's graph our orange linear equation. Our y-intercept is negative 1. So I'm going to plot a point at negative 1. Then my slope is 1 half. So I'm going to rise 1 and run 2 and plot my second point and then draw my line. So there's my system. Step 2 is to identify the ordered pair where the two lines intersect. So that's right here. So plot my point and that is negative 2, negative 2. Step three is to check that this ordered pair is actually a solution to both and that I didn't make a mistake by graphing. So I'm gonna start with my first equation and I'm gonna come up here and check. 
So I'm going to replace this x with negative 2, and I'm going to replace this y with negative 2, because this is x, y. So again, replace the y with negative 2 and the x with negative 2, and I got that from here, this ordered pair, x, y. Negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. So negative 2 does it equal 6 subtract 8. That's what we're asking. 6 subtract 8 is 6 add negative 8, which is negative 2, and it checks. But now we need to check to make sure it's a solution of the second equation as well. So again, I'm going to replace y with this negative 2 and x with this negative 2. So let's come over here. Negative 2 equals 1 half times negative 2 subtract 1. So we multiply first. 1 half times negative 2, half of negative 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 subtract 1 is negative 1 add the opposite. So negative 1 add negative 1 is negative 2, and it checks. So we know that that is the true solution to this system of linear equations. Now it's your turn. I would like you to pause the video now and solve this system by graphing. Don't forget to check your solution into both equations. Please pause and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So we're going to begin by graphing. Step one is to graph each. So I'm going to graph this one in blue. So my y-intercept is 3. 1, 2, 3. My slope is 2. I'm going to rise 2 and run 1 and plot my point. Connect the points with a line. Graph our second one with an orange line. My y-intercept is negative 3. 1, 2, 3. Plot my point. My slope is negative 4. So I have two choices here. I could fall instead of rising. I could go down 1, 2, 3, 4 and run a positive 1 and plot a point. Or I could rise 1, 2, 3, 4 and run in a negative direction and plot a point and connect my line. So my line is falling left to right because I have a negative slope. The blue line is rising left to right because I have a positive slope. All right, step number two now that I've graphed this is to identify the point of intersection, which is right here. So that point is negative 1, positive 1. So that's how I would write it. x is negative 1, y is 1. Now, my final step, step three, is to check that this solution is true to both linear equations. So let's check. We're going to replace y with positive 1 and x with negative 1. So here we have it. We're checking the blue equation first. When y is 1, x is negative 1. Is that true? 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 3 is positive 1, and it checks. Now we have to check the second equation. So I'm going to replace y with 1 and x with negative 1. So when we write it, it looks like this. We're going to multiply negative 4 times negative 1, which is positive 4, and 4 subtract 3 is 1, and it checks. Therefore, we know that the solution to this system is the ordered pair negative 1, 1. Your turn. I would like you to solve this system by graphing. Don't forget all three steps and check your solution. Please pause now. Come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So we're going to start by graphing. So first one here, our y-intercept is 0 because it's 1 half x plus 0. So I'm going to plot a point at the origin. My slope is 1 half. So I'm going to rise 1 and run 2 and plot my point and connect my points with a line. Let's graph the orange one here. Our y-intercept is negative 2. So plot a point on the y-axis at negative 2. And our slope here is 1. That invisible coefficient is 1, 1x. One so I'm going to rise 1 and run 1 and plot a point and connect my line. Now I need to do step 2, which is to identify the point of intersection, which is right here. And that point is 1, 2, 3, 4, up 2. So the ordered pair is positive 4, positive 2. X, Y. So now I need to check my solution. So I'm going to check by replacing the X with 4 and the Y with 2. So let's start with the blue. So when Y is 2, 
and x is 4 is this true? 1 half times 4, half of 4 is 2, it checks. Now let's plug it into the second equation. When y is 2, x is 4, it would look like this. 4 subtract 2 is 2, and it checks. Therefore, we know that the solution of the system is the ordered pair, 4, 2. All right, your turn. Without graphing, determine the solution of the system of linear equations. Here's your system, and here are your four possible solutions. Only one can be true. Go ahead and pause now and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So to get to the answer or our solution, what we're going to do is use our step three, which is to check our solution. So let's start with A. If I go and check, I'm going to replace X with negative two and Y with negative three in both equations. So the first one is when Y is negative three and X is negative two, is this statement true? Two times negative two is negative four. Negative four subtract one. Negative 4, add the opposite, would give me negative 5. That is not true. Therefore, I can stop because if it's not true for the first, it's not going to be true for the second. It doesn't matter if it's true for the second because it has to be true for both. All right, let's move on to choice B and check. So B, we're going to replace Y with 3 and X with 2. So when we do that, this is what it looks like. 2 times 2 would be 4. 4 subtract 1 is 3. It checks. So it works for the first equation. Let's see if it works for the second. We're gonna take three in for y and replace x with two. So it looks like this, negative x, negative two plus five is written like this. Negative two plus five is three and it checks. So we know that b is a solution. So we have our solution. Let's just talk about c for a minute. If we plug in negative three, for x, that would be negative six. Negative six subtract one is negative seven, not two. So we know that it couldn't be c. Let's try this one quick. Three times two is six, subtract one is five, not two, so it doesn't check. So our solution here is b. Thanks for joining me today on learning how to graph a system of linear equations. I hope you'll come back soon at the Join Me at the Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Have a great day.